Hello guys, once again, welcome to Lali Seduhab. And for today's session, we are going to learn how to use the model builder to perform our um, density analysis. So for the density analysis, we have the point density, the line density, and the kernel density. So the kernel density is basically used for both points and line features. However, the line density is um, only used for line features. So for today, we are going to learn how to use the kernel density. So I start by uploading my um, data and then I have another data here. So I want to use another point feature which is in this um, folder. I drag it here and I click on OK. So there are two ways to um, use the model builder to perform this function. So in my previous previous videos, we learned how to use the selection um, to, to extract our region of interest. So guys, we are going to um, do two processes here. First, we are going to learn how to use the model builder to perform all the stacks. And then second, we are going to use the lazy way. What well, that is what I call the lazy way. It is advisable to use the model builder to um, perform it. However, let's um, get started with the easier one. So we want um, to extract just a region. So let's say we want to extract in this region that is central region from this shape file. So what you normally do is to come to selection, select by um, location so we select by attributes then our regions you double click for it to appear here you click on equal to get unique values and then central so when you see when you click on apply it's going to highlight it for you then you click on ok so now we want to extract this region from the whole shape file so you come by data, export data, and so let's say you want to rename it. So let's name it trials. Then you click on save and OK. So it's going to ask you whether you want to add the export data. You click on yes. And as you can see, we have our trials um, here that is a region of interest then the next thing you will want to do is to perform your your model building so for the model building you create a folder so i'm going to use this folder then i click on new toolbox and it's going to appear here so you can choose to rename it or leave it as such so after creating your toolbox, you open it again, click on new, then click on model. So the model builder um, is going to open. So we send our, we copy our um, data here. So we're going to work with our central region file, that is a trial, and then our point feature map. So the next thing we want to do is to clip and perform a clip so we are going to search for it here so clip and search for it so you are going to use the clip analysis you drag it here and you double click so what's our clip feature clip feature is, is going to be um, this point feature here so we wait for it to respond and it's there so that was our input feature. So our clip feature here is going to be the central regional file. Then we click click on apply, then OK. So as you can see, it has been connected for you. Another way to do that is also to use the connection tool. So we are going, I'm going to use that option in the second um, um, process. So now that we have clipped it, we will want to perform our kernel density now 
So we type in kernel and then we choose kernel density. We drag it here and then we can perform our kernel analysis. So the same thing, you double click. So what's our input feature? So mind you, our input feature here is going to be um, hot some Ghana Health Facilities 4. So we are going to use this one. Then we leave everything here as default bar. If you want to change the name, then you can probably change it here. So let's say you want to change um, this one. So we want to name it um, Trial Kennel. So Trial Kennel. Then we click on Apply, then OK. So as you can see, it is there, Trial Kennel. Then we validate the entire process. We run it and we wait for it to complete. Then we save it, that is very important. Just click on the save button. Then you can minimize this and then go to your default. Um, you can add the data by coming to add data and it should be here. So we named it um, trial um, kennel. So this is what we have here. Then you add it, you close it. So as you can see, it is here. So assuming you also want to add your point feature, so health facilities for, you can come back to your add point. So health facilities for should be somewhere here. Health facilities for, you add it nicely. Then you can uncheck what you don't need again. So we only have this two. So this is what we are going to get. However, we want to change and this and then classify it in an appreciable form. So what you want to do is to right click on the kernel, trial kernel. Then you come to properties. Then you come to classified. So here you are going to go to classify then let's say you want to classify it in seven layers or let's use five then you come to your color ramp which is here so we want to give it a nice color so as you can see here then we can click on apply and as you can see it has been shown here and then we click on ok so this is it this is um, how to use the model builder for the kernel um, density. So let's use another professional method that is um, using the model builder to perform all the spatial analysis. So you come to your toolbox again, you right click, you click on new, then models, and then you upload your regions, your raw data. Yep. Your raw data. So now we are going to use the model building here to perform our clip, um, our selection, and our um, kernel analysis. So to do that, we come to our search button again. Then we type select. So we are going to use, we have select analysis, we have table select, we have neighborhood selection, but we are going to use select by attributes. So we are not going to use the select by layer, sorry, the select by location, but select by attribute. So you drag it to your model builder and wait for you to um, do your connections. So another way you can just click and then you input your selection. So our selection is the regions. And then you are going to, this side is optional. And then our SQL. So this is how we are going to perform our query. So we are going to use the region just as we did for the first one, are equal to get unique values and then central. Then we click on load, apply, and then okay. 
so as you can see it is here we didn't change name so now that we have um, performed this um, let's try to do the clipping so the same way we type clip so you are going to use the clip analysis we drag it to the model builder so you can use your connection tool to connect these two features but let's try to use the traditional method so for our clip feature our input feature is going to be the point and then our clip feature is going to be um, the regions we created that is the new regions then we click on apply and then okay so as you can see here we have them connected and the next thing we want to do is to do the final one which is the kernel density so we type kernel and then it's there kernel density we drag it here then we double click so what's our input feature now so let's go back let's go up to check so our input feature is going to be um, health facilities 5 so this is it then we leave everything here as default you click on apply or you can change the name let's try to change the name so let's say another trial another trial then we click on apply and then okay so as you can see another trial is being here so we validate the entire process and then we run it and it's going to give us um, a completion you save it don't always forget to save it you can minimize it now then let's try to uncheck everything here and we come to our add button and we saved it another trial so let's try to look for the file name another trial okay we have it here so you drag it then you click on ok and you come the same process so let's try to upload um, another trial so the point here is health facilities 5 to so add data health facilities 5 health facilities 5 we have it here then add close okay so now we can also perform the classifier you come to properties then you come to your color ramp you select any color of your choice so let's try to use this color this time round and then let's try to use let's try to maintain just sorry you come to classify that this is very important you come to classify then you come you select your classes let's maintain the five you select your color ramp let's use this color apply and as you can see is there then okay so this is it so you can compare it to what we did first so i will uncheck this and check this and as you can see we use different different colors All right, guys, so this is um, another way of performing um, your spatial analysis using your model builder. So the model builder can be used to perform a lot of geoprocessing functions. So as you try to equip yourself with the GIS or the ArcMap software, I would advise you to use the model builder to perform all your spatial or your geo processing activity so that you can save yourself a uh, much time so guys thank you very much for watching this video i hope we do meet again and make sure you subscribe 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 to the channel uh, many of you watch and then you don't subscribe try to give the video a credit by subscribing so that um, we can motivate me to um, upload more educational videos thank you very much for watching catch you in my next video bye bye